Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to connect your Xbox One controller to your iPad, whether it's on iPad OS 16, whatever iPad version it is on, and it's a very easy process. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your Bluetooth settings on your iPad, and you'll basically come into your panel that looks like this on your specific iPad. So make your way over to your Bluetooth, you want to make sure Bluetooth is on. Now on your Xbox One controller, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and hold down the share button up top, which is your little connect button, as well as the Xbox logo at the exact same time. So when you do that, you'll sometimes get into a panel that will pretty much just show your Xbox One controller starting to connect to your specific one. So you just want to go and hold down these buttons, and once this light starts blinking like this, you'll see that your iPad will go ahead and discover it at some point. Sometimes it may take an extra second or two, but in this case, all you need to do is you want to go ahead and find your specific controller. I believe this is the controller I had in the first place, and as you can see, it didn't. And there we go. Sometimes if you hold down both buttons and those don't work, you can also just hold down this specific top button, and you should be able to see this pop-up come up. Now all you have to do is go and click on the controller like so. And then you'll basically get into a panel which pretty much looks like this in a second, where the controller will pretty much pop up onto this spot. And sooner than later, I would probably also recommend holding down the button until your Xbox fully connects. And that's it. You'll see that the Xbox controller will then be connected as you can see. And that's it. You'll also see the white light start being steady there. And that is pretty much it. You can also actually go ahead and add a battery toggle for your specific... You can also add a battery toggle to your specific iPad home screen, or at least on the side, and you should be able to see the battery life on your iPad as well on the controller too, but I guess it doesn't really show us like that, but that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.